if there's any pregnant mama watching my video i recommend you download this app it's so so good it just it, get, it guides you throughout your pregnancy hey guys welcome back to my channel is you guys are going to be watching this video from the latest mama to be in town mother's day just passed happy mother's day to all the mommies to all the mamas out there the grandmas that watch my content you guys make this thing look like a walk in the park meanwhile it's so so difficult so we are going to be packing my hospital bag today i've been so lazy to get this done i figured out maybe if i film a video i'll actually you know i'll actually do it and in case i miss something as well you guys are going to let me know in the comment section you know that oh uh, dolly you miss this or you miss that before I even go further, did you guys notice that we are at 3,000 plus subscribers? Thank you guys so, so much. I, wow, I went MIA for a couple of months and then one glorious morning, I woke up, I was like, we are 3,000, three freaking thousand. If you're watching this video that you're not subscribed, go right ahead, click the subscribe button, give this video a big thumbs up so we get to 5,000, okay? 5,000, yeah, we come before my birthday in June. In Jesus' name, amen. So jumping straight into this video, I'll be showing you guys everything I'm going to be taking to the hospital for baby and for myself. Yeah, so in case I miss something, please, please mention in the comment section. I'm not taking my entire house to the hospital. I'm trying to keep it minimal as possible. So yeah, let's jump his, uh, into the video. I don't know if this will be the outfit that baby G would get to come home in, but I think this is glorious, okay? This is glorious. This was a gift I got from a friend for uh, my baby shower. It's so soft. It looks so bougie. I don't I'd like I'm taking this to the hospital. Mm -mm. She may probably come home in this since it's quite comfortable. It's got the hoodie and she'll be warm in this. So I'll definitely be packing this with me. The next thing that I'm going to be taking as well is this blanket. Again, this was a this was a gift as well. Um yeah, it's really really soft. It's so so soft. I'll probably have um, some sort of use from this in the hospital. This is a little, this is thicker than the other one I intend to take as well. I'll show you guys uh, in a minute. But yeah, I intend to take like one light blanket and then this one is quite thick. So I think I may take this as well. Another thing I'll be taking to the hospital is this pacifier. So I'm taking these two pacifiers that say I love mama and I love milk. Because um, I just don't know if my breast milk will flow instantly. And I, yeah, because everything I'm packing is based off videos I've watched. It's based off um, chatting with friends. It's based off recommendations. So, yeah. So, if my breast milk doesn't come, I hear babies love to suck on something. So, this will come in very, very handy. This is from the brand Philips uh, Avent. So, I'll be taking these two as well to the hospital. I'll show you guys this uh, very simple. I think these are like inner ways. How cute and tiny are this stuff? Like baby stuff are so <laughs> tiny. And I guess this is like newborn, newborn. I'll take a couple of, I'll take different sizes of onesies and clothes because we don't know how baby G is going to look like. She may be a huge, massive baby. Or she may be an average size baby. I can't tell. I don't know. So to be on the safe side, I'll take different sizes. But yeah, I'll be packing this cute little inner wears for her. Uh, I think I'll take two of these. I'll take this Nike one. Her daddy got this. Yeah, I think this is yeah zero to three months. I'll take this Nike one as well for her. And then I'll take this other cute one that I got as well. So these are the onesies or inner wears i'm going to be taking for baby g of course with the onesie by the way she's a spring baby it's getting warm in dubai it's getting hot actually but you know in the hospitals there's the ac the ac gets really really cold so i'll be taking these two caps as well one white one pink for her just in case you know because i hear babies as well they're always very very cold they've been the tummy and it's so warm in there 
and again i'll be taking these two bibs i'm taking these bibs for the baby yeah i'll take just two i don't think she'll be needing a whole lot at the hospital in jesus name we'll go to that hospital pop out this baby and be home in the next one or two days okay we are not spending more than two days in the hospital so this is the other blanket i was talking about like the light one i'll be taking this this is what it looks like i'll be taking this light blanket just to wrap her in in case it's not as cold as i think it's going to be i'll be taking this other blanket which is so cute by the way and of course i'll be taking a towel but this towel is more for myself than for her do i need to take two towels though one for her one for myself i don't know please let me know in the comment section i thought i'd take just one towel look at this look at this i'm actually going to be confused when it comes to her out the outfit she's going to be coming home in i got this this is from giggles newborn so i intentionally i i at first i thought she was going to i was like this is the outfit this is the homecoming outfit and then when i got the other one from a friend i was like mm, we'll see i'll also take this one along these are the two long sleeve ones this i'll take to the hospital just in case it gets cold over there so this one is quite thick and it's got like a zipper that's easy to put on easy to take out in case of any massive poop ex explosion zero to three months i'll take these two as well i'll be taking this swad uh this swaddle wrap also for baby it's pink it's a pink one this is what it looks like to wrap her in so she's comfortable and feels like she's still in the tummy i'll be taking one of these to the hospital with me of course i remember to i'm going to pack two pairs of socks for her just in case and two um, scratch mittens one pink one white just in case again she needs it one of the most important things i'll be taking as well uh, is this pack of wipes i'll take just like a pack i think you'll do for the time i'm going to be in the hospital yeah hospitals if you didn't know sometimes those are the places where you would have the most bacteria so i'll be taking these wipes you know just in case for the nappy when it's time to change her nappy and all of that and just to clean you know and this these are the, the water wipes this is the brand i'm going to be using on baby g it's 99.9 percent .9 water and a drop of fruit extract I read a lot about these mom bloggers they were raving about this a lot of people have positive reviews about this so yeah I went for them they, are, they say they are the world's purest baby wipes so I'll be taking a pack just in case with me of course you've got to take um, some diapers yes I know some people are going to be in the comment section like no hospitals have diapers hospitals have, give give a lot of things they give diapers maybe they give clothes maybe they give I, I don't know i i just don't know okay i have to clarify that with my doctor but i felt like i'll just take a few i would just take a few okay to be on the safe side so i might take like i don't know maybe about four or five if baby g doesn't use them good and fine they come home with me in case she does need to uh, use them good that's going to be brilliant so yeah the brand i got was pampers and i'll be taking like you know this quantity i'll just take some don't come for me in the comment section because i know you guys will be like mm, you're doing too much the hospital gives out this stuff i'd rather be on the safe side i think yeah i think that's it that's it for baby g that's all the stuff i'm taking for her now on to mommy <laughs> i'll be taking some of this uh nursing pads this is what it looks like i just got this one of souk yeah echo native nursing pads so i'll be taking some of these just in case i don't even know if my milk supply is going to come while i'm in the hospital talk less of even having any leakage but i'll take some to be on the safe side again so while i'm in the hospital hopefully i get to squeeze out time to take a shower i hear some people say when you just give birth you don't even have time to take a shower i'm like whoa 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 that's a bit scary you know so i'll be taking this pair of uh flip-flops these are just the ones i have at home i'll be taking this for the shower and then i'll be taking these other cute ones just to have with me i want to be comfortable i want something soft 
when I'm going through labor and all of that. So I thought I'd take these slippers with me to the hospital as well. Now for the toiletry, because of course I've got to pack some sort of toiletry. That would be toothbrush, toothpaste, all of that. It would go in here. This is my, um, this is like a toiletry bag, Lou Harvey. And the best thing is it comes in compartments. So I'll have to, if, if I'm packing something for a hobby, I'm packing something for any other person that is going with me to the hospital. Yeah, everything is going to fit in here. Toothbrush, you know, some shower gel or soap. Just all my toiletries are going to go in here. And of course, I'll just throw in this detail. You've got to have some kind of sanita hand sanitizer with you. It's very important. At least that's what I think. So this will be going in here as well. So, yeah. Now let's talk um, nightwear. Hobby got me this really cute, silky, comfortable um, night dress. I'll be taking it with me as well because as you can see, it's easy for me to take it down to breastfeed the baby. It's comfortable. I'll be looking cute. Yeah, I may get something. Maybe I may get like a large t-shirt, maybe one or two to add to this just in case. Uh, I'll need but I thought I'd take something cute and you know comfortable it's like a dress not just the regular t uh, big t-shirts or pajamas so I'll be taking this as well um I didn't I have not gotten the disposable uh, underwear because I was told to get those what I did I get I got like this super cheap underwear that maybe I can use and trash as well for the bleeding I hear it's going to be crazy it's going to be messy so yeah i got this it comes in the pack one two three four five six seven eight I have about eight of them i got like two um two of these so i'll take one with me to the hospital i'm not going to be showing you guys any any maternity parts because i've not gotten those as well though somebody recommended to me i get adult diapers so now i don't know that they are more absorbent they are much more better than the maternity parts i don't know if i should go for maternity parts or adult diapers. I've never worn adult diapers. I don't know how those feel like. I don't even... I don't know. What do you guys recommend? And of course, uh, I, I don't know if I'll give birth in these braids. But if I do, I don't want anything touching my face during labor. I guess it's going to be quite intense. So I'll be taking this so that I put it up here so everything is at the back. And I can just focus on what I'm doing. <laughs> and I'm taking a pair of socks as well. These ones are soft. I just have them at home. I'll be taking them. They are very soft and I always feel cold on my feet. So, yeah. The last two things I'll be showing you guys. I'll be taking this share butter with me. Because, I mean, I can't be... I, I don't even want to be ashy. I don't want to be ashy. And I intend to use shea butter as my, um, what's it called? Not, nap, not nappy, not nappy cream. As my, uh, nipple cream. I, this is what I intend to use. It's 100% shea butter from Ghana. Instead of getting something, I don't know the products that I need. This is what I'm going to get. So this is going to serve like moisturizer, um, nipple cream everything everything in one this is what i'm taking to the hospital with me yeah it's going to serve like lip balm because i hear your lips get dry during labor i don't know how true that is in case i need to moisturize my lips i'll also just use some of this the last thing i'll be taking for myself is this um this muffler yeah it's very soft it's my favorite and it's going to serve like i don't know i just really want it with me you know just one of those things that you're very attached to and you want to have it with you so yes this is what i'll be taking i absolutely forgot to show you guys my robe i'll be taking a robe as well i can't just be in the hospital looking all cranky looking all ras you know so i'll be taking this robe as well so in case um I need it I'll just cover up so yeah that's everything but before I go let me just share this app with you guys because I'll be using this app to time my label a friend recommended it uh, to me and I downloaded it. it is free so the app is called baby center if there's any pregnant mama watching my video I recommend you download this app it's so so good it just it, gu it guides you throughout your pregnancy it tells you how many weeks you are at I've used this pregnancy to do my, um, I've used this app to do my pregnancy, my birth plan. 
yeah i've worked on my birth plan i feel very proud of myself <laughs> i'll be showing my doctor at my next appointment so this app helped me to get that done and also the app has this other section where i'm going to time my labor you can even time the kicks how many times the baby kicks per hour or two hours or so something like that but this is very very important this is going to guide me because i hear when you get into labor and you call your doctor the first question is like um how are your contractions you need to time your contractions if you're like me who is a first time mom and you have no clue i'll simply use this app to time how long my contractions are or how short my contractions are and i guess this is going to guide my doctor to tell me if i should come over to the hospital or not so that's it guys that's everything i wanted to show you guys that's what i'm going to be packing have i forgotten anything let me know in the comment section am i taking something extra that um you don't think i really need let me know in the comment section i'll be packing snacks as well i hear you um excuse me during uh during the um uh, labor you run out of energy i'll be packing some snacks as well just to keep me energized that i've not mentioned but I, I definitely need to do that so yeah thank you guys for watching see you in the next video bye